What we're going to set here is a caster mount set with a food lure, a dead man's hand. Um, all I'm going to do is, I got uh, you know my piece of wire, and instead of using like a drowning rod or a piece of cable, you know, I'm just using the wire. What I did was I put a Z in the end so they can't get all the way down to the stake. When that drowning lock goes down, what it's going to do is it's going to stop, you know, right right there instead of going all the way down, and then they can get leverage on my on my stake. So I'm just going to. I'm using 30 inch stakes. Um, you don't want to be out doing this, you know, necessarily with like uh, 18s or something like that. You know, 30 or 36 is going to be best. bed here what we got is they got a dam going across here I got the uh, crossover set I'm trying to pick up as many out of here as I can it just you know uh, you know don't let okay, catch one let one see it I just want to you know bang as many as I can right off the bat I got one two three four five five sets put along here and that's why I'm going with you know other than a say use caster on a you know big pile on most of them uh, I want to go with something a little bit different you know so if they happen to see one get caught, get spooky, whatever, I got it all covered. What I'm doing is I got a, a J3 lock, Jeff Haggerty's lock on here. What you want to do is when you're putting these on, because you can use them on the rods, you can use them on cable, you can use them on chain or whatever, but the little hole there is for wire. And the thing is, you want to make sure you get them put on correct, because if you put them on backwards, they'll just be stuck right here at your set. See, this way, they'll slide down. When it goes to go back, it'll twist it, and they can't go back up. If you put it the other way, it'll slide down. It won't slide down. It'll just keep kinking like you want it to do the other way. So make sure you get them put, them on, put on correctly. hear a scream it was me Want that? Want that wire tight? Put the bags. Just gonna offset that trap a little bit, like so. Even if I'm making a. Uh, you know, spring trap, and even if I'm using a food lure, I'm going to go and, uh, you know, make a, a, pot, a mud pile. Just going to take some dead man's hand, put it right up on there, like so. That's it. So they'll get caught, go right down our wire, and be drowned out here. You know, uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, uh, you know, trappers can't get, uh, you You know, you can't get the, I mean, you can buy the the rods from like Jeff Haggerty, you know, but, uh, you know, I mean, you, know, you might not have the money for them. And, you know, the thing is, is 
you know, and you might not have the money to go buy a bunch of cable and stuff. You know, this is a simplistic, cheapest way to do, you know, this where you could just use, you know, the, the wire to run them down. I mean, you don't want to use little bitty wire where you can snap it. You got to use, you know, heavier wire, you know. I don't know. Like, so let's say, you know, eight, no, number eight wire or something like that. So, anyways, you know, it, it doesn't all, you know, I mean, yeah, the drowning rods are the best. Those are what I like to use and stuff. But, uh, you know, this... There's been tens of thousands, hundred thousands of beaver caught, you know, just like this setup. So, you know, use that on your line. And the main thing I will tell you, use heavy wire and use long stakes. That would be my two suggestions. And sharpen your knife.